When you look at an emu, you notice its strong legs built for running, but hidden on the side of its body are tiny, almost invisible wings. At first glance, they may look like little bumps under the skin, almost like the tiny arms of a Tyrannosaurus rex. What you are actually seeing are vestigial wings, a powerful reminder of evolution written into the emu's body. Millions of years ago, the ancestors of emus could fly, but over time, as these birds adapted to life on the ground, their wings shrank and lost their original purpose. Today, these wings cannot lift the bird into the air, but they are not completely useless. Emus still use them for balance when running at high speed, for displays during courtship, and even for regulating body temperature by helping heat escape through the feathers. When we compare them to the tiny arms of T. rex, the parallel becomes fascinating. T. rex had small forelimbs, not for flight but still functional for grasping prey or aiding in mating. In the lineage that led to birds, those small arms transformed into feathered wings, as in Archaeopteryx, a transitional fossil that shows both dinosaur and bird features. Later early birds developed strong wings capable of sustained flight. But in the emu, those wings have once again become reduced, this time not into claws but into soft feathered stubs. The story of the emu's tiny wings is not just about a flightless bird. It is a window into deep time, showing us how evolution repurposes structures across millions of years, from the grasping arms of a theropod dinosaur, to the soaring wings of early birds, and finally to the vestigial wings tucked under the feathers of a modern emu.